good morning everyone welcome to your english one class yesterday we had the live class and i told you about sending your multiple intelligences i got again today uh, yesterday i got again some more two or three people sent me their multiple intelligence what they think they are but the rest of you no interest zero interest no this will reflect on your marks you know today we're going to continue with the same lesson or rather we're going to end this lesson and we have this here on page 78 79 we have something called what's your nature in the in the previous class we had done about what's your intelligence yes but today we'll do something about personality and about nature nature not as an environment but the way that you are the way that you are okay so we'll be covering that today and please listen to the video and after that you tell me what kind of nature you have we'll be doing a few we'll be doing five natures we'll be covering and you send me a message on whatsapp saying what kind of nature you are after watching the video then only you will understand what i'm talking about okay so please watch the video till the end and let me know on whatsapp so continue watching and send me on whatsapp so before i move ahead i would like to complete this working with language on page 76 this is match the job on the left with its description on the right on the left we have the job the designation and on the right we have the description means what these people do so i am giving you a, showing an example of only these three navigator architect politician Let's take the first one first. Navigator. So, who is a navigator? So, navigator is the job. Oh, my uncle is a navigator. What does he do? And that is a description on the, on the uh, right. Navigator is answer number or C. Description number C. Finds and monitors the route to get to a place or the direction of travel. That is what the navigator does. So, in the same way, you find the answers to, to, uh, two to ten. The last one is journalist, which is on the next page of your books, page seventy-seven. Yes, against the descriptions, you write the numbers. So number C, you write one there. Okay. This is on page seventy-seven. Writing task on page seventy-seven. Write a paragraph about yourself so that people who read it will get to know you better. You could write about yourself from any point of view, or choose one of the following topics. One of the following topics, or you can choose all the topics mentioned here. What I enjoy doing most, what makes me angry, what I hate to do, and what I want to become. Remember to give a reason or details of what you write about, so that anyone reading it will understand you better. So, take for example, I want to understand you better. So, I need to know what you enjoy doing, what makes you angry, what you hate to do, what you want to become, and you can add some more of your own. You can add some more points. These just four points have been given for as an example to you. You can do these four points plus some more points, so that I can know you better. So please write this paragraph in your exercise books. Okay. So this paragraph you will find in Working with Language on page seventy-eight of your books. What's your nature? Thinker or tinker? You see, thinker or tinker. You remove the edge; it thinker becomes tinker. Tinker is a person. Thinker, you know, T H I N K E R. Thinker is a person who thinks, and tinker is a person who, in the olden times, this person used to roam on the streets from house to house, uh, repairing our utensils. If any any utensil is broken, any pot, any pan is broken, this tinker is a person who repairs that. Okay, so are you a thinker? or a tinker the right job needs the right kind of person depending on the kind of person you are your personality type you would be best suited for a particular kind of work find out which personality matches yours best and what you would want to become yes the right job needs the right kind of person for example i am a teacher can i go and build a house no i would be the most wrong person to build a house but the most right person to teach in a school So each job requires the right kind of person. So now what we're going to do is learning something about your nature. What kind of person you are? What is your personality? 
we will find out what personality matches yours best and what you could become when you grow up read these columns about careers and environment that is working to keep our world the land air water and the people animals and plants safe from natural and man made dangers okay this is what we are going to do what kind of person you are check out the personality profiles needed to be successful at different kinds of careers in the environmental field find out whether you are more adventurous than your partner or whether your partner is a better inquirer than others you may wish to prepare a personality profile of yourself or your partner in so in groups and when we will just leave that okay so these are your personality profiles that we are going to do next and you can put yourself you can categorize yourself into one field if not one field maybe in two fields maybe you are two you have two different kinds of personalities or maybe you that's your nature same like in multiple intelligence we don't need to have only one intelligence we can have two we can have three we can have four intelligences there like what i explained to you so here also you can have different kinds of natures so continue watching and listen and let me know first one is adventurous you will be adventurous if you are stoic stoic means if you are able to endure pain you can uh, you can manage pain you can take pain if you are determined patient romantic calm curious you want to know what's happening in the world physically tough your body is tough and unflappable unflappable means uh, when you show calmness any problem is there you don't you don't begin to shout oh my god what's going to happen no you remain calm that is unflappable so you are adventurous if you like adventure traveling outdoors forests trekking wild creatures rain climbing mountains camping being alone so if you are any one of these that means you are adventurous by nature you are good at biology outdoor activities keeping calm under duress keeping calm under duress means under if there is some problem going on some violence some fighting and you keep calm you don't fight back dealing with bad weather looking at an elephant in the eye i mean taking on any problem that comes to you you take it on you don't run from your problems you find solutions to your problems so if you are any one of these if you are good at any one of these that means you are adventurous next what can you become if you are adventurous you can become a wildlife biologist you can become a zoologist a botanist naturalist forester zoo curator zoo curator is a person who takes care of the zoo veterinary doctor biology teacher environment educator organic farmer rural community worker rural means working in the village with the rural people with the village people so if you are any one of these you can if you are adventurous so you can become any one of these because you like taking up challenges now coming to the next one that is creative you are creative by nature if you are creative if you are imaginative if you are artistic if you are a dreamer you like to sit and dream and think about the future and think about things romantic sensitive liberal cooperative cordial cordial means uh, being friendly with everyone clever percep perceptive you have ideas you are humorous you are funny you are intuitive yes you can understand what's going to happen now you see a bucket of water blind crooked you know it's going to fall so that is being intuitive you know what's going to happen next so you like colors you like good design you like outdoors communicating with people you like creative writing you like art and craft watching films nature walks engaging with social issues talking about what is happening in the world traveling and studying liberal arts studying all paintings and all these things when you study all that that means you are creative you are good at if you are creative you will be good at art and craft drawing photography creative writing painting dreaming communicating ideas these will be your qualities if you are creative and what can you become if you are creative you can become a film maker a copywriter writing stories graphic designer artist sculptor with a social concern sculptor with a social concern means you're concerned about society and in that way you will make um, your sculptures your designs who does development communication projects or works for ngo ngos 
NGOs means non-governmental uh, organizations, free of cost. You work to help people. School teacher, community worker, wildlife artist, illustrator. Illustrator is a person who draws. Environment educator, communication expert to communicate with people. So you can become any one of these if you are creative. Okay, so I hope you understand these two natures that we have covered just now, adventurous and creative. So are you adventurous? Are you creative? We're going to do three more coming up. So please let me know. Continue listening. So we have finished two, adventurous and creative. Now coming to the next one that is inquirer. Inquirer comes from the word inquire, to ask. So you are an inquirer if you are systematic, logical, practical, organized, inquisitive, asking about things, thorough, you do your work perfectly, outward looking, rational, very, very reasonable person, you like to reason out things, studious, you like to study, methodical, you go by method, you don't do your work haphazard way, you do your work very neatly, intuitive, like I explained to you before. So you are an inquirer if you like building and fixing things, finding reasons behind phenomena. Why do things happen? Why does the sun rise in the east? Why does the sun set in the west? Why does it rain? Why does the sun shine? So these are all finding reasons behind phenomena. Figuring out how things work. So you learn to think about how things are working. Learning about new technologies, doing maths and working with gadgets. Working with gadgets means anything. Your, your TV can be your gadget. Your remote control can be a gadget. So if you like such kind of things, that means you are an inquirer. And you are good at physics, mathematics, chemistry, fixing and repairing the plumbing. Plumbing means the water connection in your house, all the pipes and all that. Or electrical gadgets at home, engineering, fantastic structures with Lego. Lego, you know, Lego, you know, Lego is a game, a building blocks game. So if you are an inquirer, you can become an environmental engineer or a bioengineer, chemical engineer, meteorologist, climatologist, toxicologist, water expert, appropriate technologist. You can become any one of these. Any now these are all many, many new words. Please find out the meanings of these words. Whatever word you don't understand, please take a dictionary with you and find the meanings. If possible, write the meanings. Okay? Coming to the next one, communicator. Communicator comes from the word communicate. So you are a communicator if you are confident, if you are intelligent, if you are creative, if you are gregarious. Gregarious means you are, you like to mix with people, you, you are fond of company, you like talking to people. If you are talkative, opinionated, Opinionated means you have your own opinions, you don't listen to anyone, you are alert, you know what is happening around you, you are energetic, full of energy, purposeful, your life is not boring, you have a purpose, you have a goal, forthright, whatever comes to your mind, you speak it out, that is the meaning of forthright, sociable, you are social, you like to meet people and you are eloquent, eloquent means uh, you fluent, you are good in writing and reading and speaking. So you like reading, writing, thinking about the state of the world, politics, cultures, arguing, traveling to remote places, meeting people, stating your opinion, intellectual pursuits, current affairs, cities. You like all these things if you are an, if you are a communicator. What can you become? You can become a documentary filmmaker, environmental lawyer, newspaper magazine journalist, urban researcher, Remember, urban researcher, if you are an adventurous, you can become a rural, means village, village community worker. But if you are a communicator, you can become an urban researcher, trying to find out things in the urban places like cities. Ecological historian, development consultant, communications expert, government official. So you can become any one of these if you are a communicator. And let's take the last one that is idealist. Idealist, if you are hopeful, selfless, romantic, radical, frank, political, rebellious, socialist, free thinking, restive, restive means unable to remain calm, you, you want action to happen, passionate, visionary, helpful, visionary means you think about the future and you're passionate about what you do, then you are an idealist. So whatever other meanings you don't understand, please find out the meanings of those words. 
you like to help others to express your concern at injustice social and cultural histories understanding human psychology a sense of community people with social concerns you like helping other people you like to go to the people and look at their problems and solve their problems that is if you are an idealist you are good at dealing with all kinds of people working in a team demanding your rights you fight for your rights living frugally frugally means living within your means not spending more than what you have whatever money you have you spend it in the right way making the most of any given situation any problem comes to your life you are able to solve it you don't just give up strategizing or planning writing letters taking criticism anyone says oh your your way of talking is not good so you say okay no problem so that is the way of taking criticism and doing daring acts you don't fear anything if you are all these and you can become a social worker environmental activist ngo representative rural development expert public interest advocate lawyer communications expert so you can become any one of these so please this is actually to be read yourself so please read it again and choose one of them one or two of them whatever you think your nature is you choose and send me a message saying ma'am i am an idealist or ma'am i am a communicator because because why just write two three sentences or one sentence will do okay so just let me know why you have chosen inquirer why you have chosen adventurers why one of this choose only one and relate to that and let me know that's all for today have a good day bye bye